And when you're wearing that team jersey, you're representing your band. You romanticize the whole thing. Finally, secure a team under our colors. It's Miss Navi Maspoa. It's very exciting to see this moving forward. Coach Dominic Fletcher and his team have made history at this year's Little Native Hockey League. For the first time in the league's history, his band, Missinabi Cree First Nation, is playing in the largest Indigenous hockey tournament in Ontario. The Little Native Hockey League, also known as the Little NHL, was formed in 1971-72. The inaugural tournament was held in Little Current, Ontario, on Manitoulin Island, with a roster comprised of just 17 teams. Fletcher himself took part in this tournament as a 12-year-old youngster. Coming into this tournament was unreal. I mean, the talent, the, the you know, some children, they don't even play organized hockey, but just the skill set that they have from playing on rinks and playing on just pond hockey, pickup hockey, and it was very fun. But he never had the opportunity to play under his band. Instead, he played as a pickup player for another First Nation. But this year, he not only was able to see his daughter Reina do that, but got to coach her as well. Playing under your band's colors, underneath our banner, it means a whole, whole lot. The league has outgrown its roots in northern Ontario, and now players from across the province travel to Mississauga to play in the four-day tournament. And this year, in its 48th year, a record 227 teams from various divisions competed in the tournament. All the communities, we all work together. I mean, this is not about just one, uh, one reserve, one team trying to win it all. It's about, you know, how many teams can we get up there? This past summer, the Missinabi Cree First Nations received reserve status from the federal government, something they've been fighting for for over a decade. The Missinabi First Nation is located north of Sault Ste. Marie and west of Timmins. It encompasses about 450 members spread out across Canada. After 112 years, it was a lot of discussion, a lot of work that had to get done, but uh, we ended up getting reserve status for the first time in, in, uh, in 112 years uh, since, since treaty signing way back when. Chief Jason Gauthier was approached by Dominic late last year about riding the momentum and creating a team for the little NHL under the band's colours. The community was able to raise over $15,000 to cover costs for items such as jerseys, travel and hotel accommodations. A lot of our talent doesn't get showcased enough and I feel like sometimes, you know, it's become a, a privileged sport in some aspect where some kids just don't have the money to play in rep hockey or to play uh, in certain tournaments. When you see them out there and you see them playing, you see them having fun, you see them in the colours, it a, it's a really great sense of pride for our community. For many families, this trip has particular significance. Teams travel from every corner of the province to not only play hockey, but to reconnect with their families and roots. And it brings the community and the people together. So it's pretty, there, it, it means a lot, right? Especially like them going to school, being able to say that they're Indigenous, it means a lot to them. For Michelle Gideon, this tournament is also a chance to see her son Kane in action, a moment that's not lost on the eight-year-old. It makes me really, really happy because they get to see me. And whenever I score goals, it makes me happy because they see it and it's just fun to play hockey with them. He doesn't even realize it right now, but as he's an adult, I'm sure like the stories will come out, right? Um, it's huge for him. His dad played in Little NHL, his uncles played in Little NHL, and his uncles coaching them this weekend. Um, it, it's huge, it's, it's a big honour for him. In their first ever game, the team managed to come back from a three-goal deficit to win in overtime. Yes! Coach Fletcher didn't have expectations for their first game, let alone the tournament. We came back, we played together, we tried hard, and you know what, we did the impossible. He's thinking long-term. A Missinabi Cree team for years to come. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. Helping businesses stay on the right side of change with strategic thinking, insightful decisions, and business leadership. 
Are you on the right side of change? Ask an Ontario CPA.